Here's how to properly test your batteries and your motor off of your uh, Razor scooter or Razor go-kart. To do this properly, you're going to need at least a multimeter. Uh, if it were me, I'd want to have a few scraps of wire, some electrical crimpers, and some basic uh, spade terminal connections. Each battery in your system should read 12 and a half volts or more to be usable. They are wired in series when they're wired together in your cart to give you 24 volts. This one's reading at 12.85. This one's reading at 12.64, so we're okay. If we put them together, we're actually going to read 25.3 volts. So I've wired this up to mimic what it would be like in your cart if you were doing this working uh, on the cart itself. I've got the power switch and everything wired up. This is the main power lead that goes into your actual controller. This last test is going to be a double test. It'll test the motor, whether it works, and load test the batteries. If we flip the switch and turn the motor on, and this voltage drops significantly, we know the batteries are bad. If it drops in a little bit and then levels out, we're good to go. We're good to go.